What's up, Bulls? I'm Hannah, and this is News in 90. If getting into college makes you nervous, imagine how a service animal must feel. Service animals are trained to benefit individuals with disabilities. Examples include guiding people who are blind, alerting so. people who are deaf, and calming a person during an anxiety attack. Ziva's my service dog. She helps me by detecting low blood sugar, detecting gluten in any foods I eat, and she also helps to guide me to someplace oh, safe if me. I ever have an incoherency spell. Rachel Barcelona, a junior at USF, was diagnosed with autism and epilepsy. Two years ago, Rachel started training with Harvest. It means a lot to me because I've been a really shy person throughout my life and he's brought me out of my shell in ways that I can't even comprehend. Harvest alerts her 5 to 15 minutes before an episode by the scent of Rachel's pheromones when her blood pressure drops. Some students are unaware of how they should act around the service animal. I can't stress enough that people should ask before they pet. If you ever come across a service dog, don't pet them, whether or not they have a vest on or not, because they're always working. The Americans with Disabilities Act requires schools to allow service animals on campus. This includes trained dogs and even miniature horses. I'm Jessica Barron with News in 90. Service animals must stay with their owners at all times and remain leashed while on campus. I'm Hannah Ashibi with Housing and Residential Education. We're the best place to live, best place to work, and the best place to learn. I'll see you next week.